So as per the instructions for the teapot, two of them, four of them, two of them, one each of the lid, the handle and the spout and then I'll, two of them, I'll do them after, I've not done them yet. So put them together, that's what I'm doing now. So I've got two, so I folded this one and this one, but I think, I'm not sure if I remember right, but I, I watched a video and I don't think you fold that one because you're sticking the, something on top, but we'll see as we go along, I don't know if this die, it's annoying me. Right, so let's get these two together, and I folded the wee flap there, but I've not folded the top one, but I'll do this them first. Sure about them, right. So let's go up like that and then well, it's hard to do this. Maybe shove them the base, glue that first. So it sits like that and then you glue the flaps. Uh let's see. I don't know where I was going with this. Well, it's quite hard to see with white paper. That's okay. Hopefully. Oh, that gold dries quick. Not have much time. Well, maybe I should have gone over a wee bit. It's a bit tight on this side. I said it's hard to see with white paper. Right, anyway, I'll get on with gluing. Right, I'm just going to glue them all around. Hopefully, this will be okay. Right, so I'm just going to go all the way around. I'm not going to bore you, but me keep you watching. Okay, I've glued the bottom piece, this piece here. You can see that, these flaps here. So I'm going to start gluing these other flaps all the way around. That's quite a footed but It'll be nice once it's done and the glue just decides to stop coming out. Just continue with this and I'll be back. Right, so you've got these four pieces glued together like that. And then you've got to give them a wee bend. Because they glue on here. If you can see that. I can turn it off good. Right, so. Done like that. So you just glue them on all the way around. So you've got four of them. Right, so I've got most of the bits on. Oh, such a camera shaking. It's quite cool. You can have a, a wee pot or you can have like a bowl if you don't want them in the whole teapot thing. Right, so this is the last piece. I've got to try and slot it in here. Stick it on three different parts. This would be fun. And I think wet glue is better because if you use the sticky tape, you don't have much wiggle room. 
Especially if you're doing new footage bits like this, so let's see if that thing caught. And there, it's got the goat along the bottom, and it's got to ah, it's got to stick to that side as well. Right, let's see. Might be an easier way of doing this, but who knows? Right, it's not bad. It doesn't start moving. Right, so you've got a wee bowl you could use for whatever. And then we need to get started on the lid. So I've got these two pieces. Put them on top of each other. And you bend the wee, wee bits there. One on top of that. And then give them a wee bend you need to glue them and that will make your lid so if that's bent enough This teapot looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is, it's just because it's got so many pieces. I keep doing this, I should maybe glue that first. Right. That was a mistake I made with it bottom bit and I've glued it first. Right. We'll give it a wee, give them all a wee bend as well, it'll make it easier. Yeah, that's my bent. Hey, where was the one I was gluing? Right. <laughs> It'd be there. Oh, and we bend up doing as well. So we've got that one. Bend up. It's handy if the picture is right beside me that I can see. If it wasn't for that. Right, that makes it easier. It makes it easier to glue as well. There you go. So everybody goes underneath there. Yeah, so all that to be the lids. Pretty easy. Right, again, I'm going to bore you to death gluing everything, I'll be back. Okay, so I've glued all that. It's all going. Now I need to make the, the top, the, the wee button on the teapot handle. I'll just Fold it. Mm. So 
we glue it all so it's like this. Oopsie. So it's like that and then stick it on there. So we fold them these as well for glue them. Right, so I just need to glue them so it closes nice and neat and tidy. I'll be back. Ignore the mess. Right, so I've glued it, pushed it through, and then to fix it, you could just put your finger in and manipulate it. So it's a nice shape. And then I've just got to bend these back and glue them in. And then you do the handle so you get two one for each direction and then you just bend the top and the bottom put that together like that so you find it hard to see there's so much light and then glue that on once you've glued it together then you do the spout and you get two of them. Where's the other one? Two spouts. Where are they? And that's the inlay. Oh, that's the. So you get the inlay. Two spouts, two inlays. So you can use it without or with. It's up to you. So I did. Because I'm running out of the blue paper, I did the white one and then did. Blue on top. I would love to have had this blue, but as I said, this is this pile of scraps here. This all left. Lilla, the last of my blue paper, and I had was it two 12 by 12 sheets, or was it one? I can't remember. Aye, so it was. I used at least one 12 by 12, and by the time you cut out the bit, so that's quite cute. So this one, where did the other bit go? And then you bend the end. I'll glue them together, obviously, but bend it, put it like that. So it looks like that. And there's a wee bit somewhere that you can put in between to keep the spout open. Like, you know, so it doesn't look too squished. It's more 3D effect. So I'm just um, looking for bits for the decorating. I'll be back once I've figured out all my mess. So I cut out some of the little roses to put here. And I cut out a wee flower. For the top. <laughs> it's run away. For the top. So I just need to glue this. Together and then glue it on the teapot. I don't know, one of the score marks seems different from the other. Right. Right, so choose a spot for it to go. Like I said, I don't know why, but this inside's different from the other. I 
tops. It's okay there, but the top's not. I don't know why it's just no um, a wall bit eaten. A bit of one at a time. This is why I kept cutting the video off because who wants to watch me sitting here waiting for glue to dry? <sighs> mm, see, it's been removed. Ugh, totally annoying. No, see, it's not sitting. Hold it like that better. Right, hopefully that will stay on. If not, I'll just need to re-glue it. So, moving on to the spout and I found the dye. Oh, every time I say I found something, I lose it again. <laughs> anyway, it's only between your dye, so you stick this in to keep it apart. I'm just going to stick the spout on at the moment and I'll look for that a wee bit later. So, yeah, make sure it's in the middle. I'll use a different glue. Right, my goodness. Can't get the glue out. I'll be wary of this because I put a pin in it and it changed the colour white to this kind of. Rusty looking. Just straight. I'm sure that's even. Yeah, I think so. Let me just don't put the pins in it. It's on the colour. Oh good, you know what, on white paper. Right. For God's sake. I'm not gluing my hands and I've got in a bit of card. Oh, let's see. Stick that there. I'll just keep the spout. I thought putting this together might actually drive me insane because I really don't have a lot of patience. But that was actually very good. Once you know what you're doing, like quick pieces, when you look at it, it's totally overwhelming because there's so many parts. But once you know, like half of the, well not half, like a quarter of the parts is for the, the cup and the saucer. And you double a lot of things, so there's not really as many dyes for the teapot as I thought when I first looked at it. Please don't fall off. Right, I'll probably have a few more decorations here and I've got to get some for here. I don't think right, that'll fit in there. So you get a plain one, you get that one. I think that's for further, ah, it's further down. You get that one. Get gozies, which are nice. I've got a lot of my dyes mixed up with the cup dyes, but I think that's off the sides. Oh, there's the piece that's still on my Gemini mat. That wee bit there, that's for in between the spouts. Oh, there's some more dyes there. I put these away anyway, I'm not using them. These are the ones I've not used. In my, um, uh, what's it called? Big Shot decided to stop working again. Let me do open it up and see. I think the wheels have unaligned themselves again because there's a clip inside missing. Right, so these are the decorating part dies. The circles. 
another bee flower, a butterfly. Oh, you get loads of nice bits. I'm not really sure what that bit would be for. But yeah, oh, and a wee heart. Overall, it's a really nice set. Really nice set. Right, so a wee bit more decorating and I'll come back. Right, I cut out some of them flowers. I'm getting maybe, I don't know if I'll put them all along the edge or not, probably will. Then I cut out a wee flower in white and one in blue. I'll stick that on. This we die here. It's quite cute. Something different. I'll stick that up the top. Oh, I'm with flower for the top as well. I'll throw it on the lid. Well, <laughs> it's a bit slippy. Goodness sake, it's very slippy. Maybe uh, I should have uh, maybe turned them a wee bit out so it doesn't slip so much. The thing is, if you're going to be using it, it's just going to be sitting with stuff in it or ornament also. It's not a real teapot. Just got to keep telling myself that it's not a real teapot. Maybe just gonna be drinking it like tiny wee die. I'm so annoyed about that. Big shot. It's just that because I'm using wee dies, I prefer to just run it quickly through the big shot. But the big ones I did use the Gemini. But I think I might have uh, killed it with shoving too many layers of paper and stuff when I was cutting thick stuff. Plus, as I said, when I opened it up, there's the, the wheels are out of line where you crank the handle. And that's how I got it fixed the last time it broke. I just hit it with a hammer and got the, the pole to align properly. I wasn't going to throw it out if I could fix it. That's nice. I think that'll do just now. Really? Hmm. It's at least a little got to dry, but it looks nice. Alright, I fixed the lid, uh, well, the pot, so the lid doesn't keep falling off. I had to, I forgot to bend it. I kept it straight, I don't know what I was thinking. 
So, Aventis, this is just a sample, I just wanted to try everything out, so it does not really matter if it gets ripped or anything, but, yeah, so, when you get to, you don't um, bend the bit under here, you keep that straight, so this part goes on it, but then you definitely bend that, so when it's, the lid goes on, it stays on. But, all in all, I think it's nice for a first effort. And this paper, I think, is too thick as well. The white paper is very, very thick. It's not very pliable. But as I said, I think for my first try, it came out quite nice. Got a ch chance to try all the different dyes. Just need to remember that don't put a pin inside your glue because it turns the glue a weird colour. But yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful to anyone. It's maybe thinking of making one. Set you back on. Can see, look, it doesn't fly off like it did before because I bent it. Right, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Cheerio.